I want to take a few minutes to introduce our vision for evaluating the enhancement themes work. We hope that colleagues will be excited by our ideas. In fact, let's start with the team. The team comprises two of us as co-investigators, Liz Austin there at the top in colour, who has considerable experience of developing and leading evaluation research projects, alongside me, Stella Jones-Devitt. I lead as, di as Director of SCOLP, which is the research centre at Staffordshire University delivering this work. Liz and I are supported by two colleagues from the Research, Innovation and Impact Services team at Staffordshire, Tom Ward, Project and Portfolio Officer, and Anna Mawson, Project Manager. Like all good teams, we form more than the sum of our individualised parts, bringing together knowledge of many evaluation methodologies, thoroughness of approach, complementary skills and extensive networks, all stimulated by partnership working and hopefully notions of social justice. We're also committed to developing evidence-informed evaluation approaches that capture pedagogic and socio-cultural impacts of effective learning in all its messy forms. So there's lots to do over the next three years. Our vision is to use a what works approach to determine factors across all themes that contribute to student success, whether past, present or future. Primarily, this involves building effective relationships with colleagues who are delivering this work across the sector. To facilitate this, we believe collective ownership of evaluation is crucial, and this includes developing appropriate capacity building and designing inclusive evidence gathering methods from the outset. Proportionality is important too, involving designing evaluation processes that work effectively by using resources in a realistic manner. It's also about discussing possible counterfactual impacts of the enhancement themes work. For example, have the themes made any difference or would impacts have occurred regardless? As relatively impartial evaluators, we can facilitate those critical conversations with a range of colleagues. The evaluation process is in three phases. Phase one, unsurprisingly, concerns beginning to gather evidence. We're using documentary analysis to provide interesting starting points for finding out and for our immersion as evaluation researchers. Colleagues involved in the existing theme, resilient learning communities, will add value by advising us about further evidence. We also want to internationalise the language of evaluation and we'll be using something called gap mapping in which a visual overview of evaluation is presented rather than in purely written form. The team believes that presenting evidence in this way enables everyone involved to explore the quality of existing information in a highly accessible manner. Throughout the process we'll be drawing on opinions of a range of experts as valid sources of evidence and these will help us shape the emphasis. So we're recruiting an expert reference group to help us to do this. Phase two of the evaluation research concerns gathering more evidence emerging from the present theme, triangulated with findings of prior themes. The researchers will look for further evidence to pursue and test out gaps already identified from the earlier mapping. Therefore, this will be more of a testing and steering stage of emerging themes for success. Running parallel to evaluation of the present theme will be development of what we're calling a Universal Evaluation Framework, or UEF for short. Over the next three years and all phases, we will work with colleagues to develop an evaluation framework that all can use regardless of starting point and regardless of previous experience. UEF will use a set of diagnostic processes to guide what evidence is needed, how to gather it, how to analyse it and how to do it proportionately with available resources. The UEF has to be good enough to withstand past, present and future facing project evaluations. So by phase three, prototyping of the UEF through applications to the existing theme will gather momentum. In phase three, there'll be an emphasis on UEF piloting, on people development, reporting and sharing of findings that can shape the future and build on what works successes. The UEF will be animated by additional evidence-informed case studies from the themes work to create further capacity building opportunities to maximise impact. The work done across the years for enhancement themes can already be classed as thought leading in the sector. We hope to continue this ethos by producing some game-changing evaluation processes ourselves in collaboration with colleagues undertaking some outstanding enhancement themes work. We will work hard to ensure that this evaluation research process can make a significant difference to understanding and evidencing student outcomes for success. Thank you for listening.